Did you know that the words we use can either make someone or break them? Can either build a relationship or destroy a relationship? And that's why we need to be so cautious, careful of the words we use. Sometimes in the fit of rage, we throw words, right? When we are upset with someone, we just flare up with them and speak words which we may later regret. But how many of you know, once the words are spoken out, the pain it causes, the emotional trauma, sometimes it takes a lifetime to heal. Sometimes some don't get healed at all unless it's brought to the cross, brought before God who helps you heal it. And that's why we need to be so careful of the words we use. When we open up our Bibles to Colossians chapter 4 verse 6, it says, Let your speech always be gracious, not sometimes, but always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. It says seasoned with salt. Now, when you think of the salt, and one of the properties of salt is it brings healing. Another property of salt is it's used as manure. Come on. That means you're supposed to help build people. You're supposed to, your words, your speech is supposed to bring healing to relationships. I want to tell you, if you're struggling with your child, your child is going wayward. You want your child to come back into the ways of the Lord, or you want your child to excel in their education or in their life. Then you need to be careful what you speak over your child, that you would build your child, not nag and constantly be bickering and finding fault but restoring them working on their lives using the right words over them if you're going through a marriage crisis or a family crisis you need to be wise what you speak because what you speak can either create more confusion or bring about healing I know in the fit of rage sometimes we just throw words but you want the healing then you need to be very careful what you speak. When you look at the friends of Job in Job chapter 2 verse 11, we see the friends coming to Job to comfort him, to be with him in his time of loss. But do you know the words they used in Job chapter 5 verse 2? It says there that, that his friend called him a fool. In 4 verse 8, it says the friends said that you have iniquity, you have sinned. That's why you are in a problem. In chapter 8 verse 4, one of the friends says that your children have sinned. That's why they have died. In chapter 8 verse 13, one of the friends calls him an hypocrite. Are these building words? Are these words that would comfort Job? No, far from it, right? Come on, I want to ask you today, how do you use your tongue? Do you know death and life are in the power of the tongue? Do you know that the way you use your tongue, the way words that you speak up, the speech that you use can either restore or break people? Come on, be, be sensitive. Don't just flare up because you've got rage that's bursting within you. Don't just throw words in the air. Let's be wise because remember, you can either make or break people. You can either build or destroy relationships. Let me ask you again, is your speech salted? Is it gracious? Not sometimes, always building people, being wise how you speak, having the right answers, the right word for that particular time or season. Is your speech salted? God bless you.